Hi, I'm Tane Danger. This is Give to Gustavus Day, and I'm standing here with Lily Kingsley, Audrey Octrip de Carroll, and Andrea James. Andrea James. And obviously. So we're here uh, at Big Hill Farm, and this, I understand, is where all of the food for Gustavus is grown. Not exactly. We do grow um, lots of produce over the summer and into the fall and we sell it to the cafeteria. So a little bit of the food in the cafeteria is from here. That is good. So like most of what we will be eating for the rest of the day is pumpkin and owl meat. Correct. Right. Yeah, that's good. No, tell me more because it's like beautiful out here. I mean, we're at the end of the season. It yeah. seems like we're mostly eating pumpkins and um, and zinnias, right? That like, would be correct. So yeah, Absolutely. so I don't tell like who all is out here working and doing stuff. Well, the farm is entirely student run. Wow. Um, previously, it was just a farm. Now it's expanded to a student org that's active during the school year rather than just the summer. Um, so this summer, for example, myself and two other interns, Emily Gerenser and Josie Kleckner, Good name were drop. putzing around. Uh, we worked from June to still working currently. As you can see, there's still things to be picked. Um, and all of that food we produce, like Lily said, goes straight to the calf. And then during the school year, our org plans fun events, plans what we'll be growing the next year, and hires new interns for the next summer. Look at a, uh, a squash. Actually, uh, that no. is a dead cucumber. It's rotted. We're at the end of the season. We are at the <laughs> end of the season. See, you can tell this is totally unscripted. This is real. Like I just picked up a dead. That's fine. Anyway, so uh, I, I don't know. What do you all learn, like, what, by doing this? I mean, obviously, you learn which pumpkins are the cutest. That's definitely yeah. Lots of hands-on skills. Yeah. Um, so obviously, skills that include planning out a farm, um, planning what to grow where and when to grow it um, to make the soil be the best quality for where we're at yeah. um, and then lots of other skills like appreciating nature um, getting out here we also focus on food justice and um, sustainable agricultural practices um, to get to know that a little bit more so yeah. Ooh, can you just tell me quickly about like so what sustainable agriculture practices like out here like what some of those are that you all are practicing yeah, so we are not certified organic, but we don't use any pesticides or herbicides on our vegetables. So by definition, they are organic. Uh, besides that, we do crop rotation. So these plants won't stay in this spot next year. We'll rotate them to another plot. Um, and that ensures that the nutrients that these plants took out from the soil this year won't continue to be drawn out and the soil has the opportunity to regenerate and stay as healthy as possible. Additionally, we do uh, low to no tilling, which involves uh, softening up the earth and drying it out and that can cause soil erosion um, and beyond that we just try and plant pollinator friendly plants that's why we have a prairie um, yeah and there's a myriad of different practices that you can employ uh, but we don't have to get into all of those right now no that's very cool and uh, just I, I'm gonna walk into the brush here in a second but be, while I'm doing that can you just say uh, a little bit about uh, some of the I don't know experiences you've had because you've both been working here for like a while now so like I don't know do you have any favorite memories of working mm. on the farm yeah so my first year talking. at Gustavus there you go <laughs> and on in get us a pepper you keep talking oh good yeah so my first year at Gustavus um the first club meeting I ever went to was a big hill farm meeting and my mom always likes to remind me of this story of I called her walking to the meeting I'm so scared to go like I don't know if people are gonna like me like I don't know if I should even be in this club and so um, I was really anxious and then I went there and James and Andrea who are um, Owl is named after just <laughs> made me feel really welcome um, and eventually this kind of became my favorite club favorite place to be on campus um, and so it was really cool like feeling like I had a place at Gustavus surrounded by people um, who were like me and who were just generally awesome, like Audrey. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that is very cool. Uh, should we, do you want a habanero? No, that's an extremely spicy pepper and I don't want that right now. I'll hold it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, thank you both very much for talking to us. Uh, thank you for showing us around end of the season, Big Hill Farm. I am gonna steal this pumpkin. Go right ahead. Uh, but I hope that you all are watching and uh, your support today is supporting really cool, amazing things like this. So uh, help us make Gustavus grow. Oh, ow. <laughs> are you okay? Oh, you can uh, want some milk. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, I can smell that. Anyway, oh, oh my mouth. <laughs> Goodbye. It's over. The shot is over.